The white blood cell. The ingenious defense that has been safeguarding our silky skin for generations. Stronger than a bull and more aggressive than an Irishman in a pub, white blood cells are the daring defenders that defend our defenseless design against our aggressive adversaries, the pathogens. Pathogens being a dangerous disease of dastardly destroyers, death and destruction. Devious devastators damaged by decades of, uh, let's just say they're mean. Without our body's micro marauders, the white blood cells, the powerful pathogens could pulverize all the puny people they choose to. In order to defeat this fortified fortress of fear, they must go up against the bacteria of certain death and the vile virus of vengeance. To combat the commanders of chaos, the white blood cells deploy their antibody assault soldiers. These sticky squadrons tag and neutralize antigens, the spiteful spawlings of pathogens, as they infiltrate their way into the body. The white blood cell itself can digest the evil invaders and destroy them. Finally, the white blood cell can spew out antitoxins which counteract the vile toxins produced by the pathogen foes. If all hope seems lost, there is the pathogen's foremost weakness. The last line of defense against major diseases. This nuclear warhead of medicine is none other than the antibiotic, a flawless foe to stop the bacteria and its sadistic sadists from reproducing. But all great nukes have their cockroach, in this case, the virus. They're immune because they reproduce within the host cell and like a rash on the world's backside, they flare up again and again and there is nothing that can be done by the attacking antibiotics to stop them.